You might have never even considered having a running coach. Perhaps you thought it's not for you, or you haven't been sure what it involves. Well, fear not, as today, along with the help of Pace, a new adaptive coaching app from Training Peaks, where you can choose your coach, Rick and I will be going through everything you need to know about getting a personal running coach. So whether you currently have a coach and are looking to learn more, or if coaching is completely new to you and you want to see how it could benefit your training, Keep watching as we have all the information you need from why you would get one, the benefits of coaching, philosophies, periodization, and more. Plus, stay tuned right to the end and I'll be sharing a key to coaching success. Before we get stuck in though, please do hit subscribe and tap on that bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos all about running, which we do every single week. There are lots of ways that you can get input from a coach, ranging from free articles and videos, downloadable static training plans, where basic ones are usually free, and longer or more advanced plans are paid for, joining a club or training group where you can take part in group sessions, paying for a subscription to a training app, and this is where you'll really be looking for that something that adopts training around your life. And finally, you can work one-to-one -one with a personal coach. You'll likely make a choice based on budget, the goals you're setting yourself, and how you like to receive your training. But why might you want to get a coach in the first place? What are the benefits? Well, if you've got big goals that you want to aim for, it's great to have someone to work with on your training rather than planning it all out yourself. Having a coach who believes in you and can motivate you when you can't motivate yourself can really make a difference in training. It makes training a collaborative process with more focus than you might have done training alone. Have you hit a plateau in training and racing and can't get any faster? Well, this is where a coach can help. An objective outsider might be able to see where you can improve and what you've been missing in order to hit the goals that you've been chasing. It might give you some variety in your training. You could try some new workouts or tackle your staple sessions in a different way. For example, running to time rather than distance or trying a threshold workout. This gives new stimuli both mentally and physically, which could benefit your motivation. Coaching removes the guesswork from training. You don't have to worry about planning out the training and adjusting for setbacks. You can just focus on doing the actual running. This removes the stress and guilt around running decisions. Now, we've all probably beaten ourselves up for missing a run or being stressed about how to fit in all the sessions we need to do in the lead up to a race. A coach is there to help you adapt your training plan and make sure your training is right for you and your life. It'll give you confidence with your training. If you've bought into a coach and their proven methods, you have confidence, which will diminish the doubts that you'll naturally have about, will it work? It prevents you from getting comfortable with your training. We all have a tendency to focus on our strengths or what we enjoy doing. To see progress, you need to have balance and focus on your weaknesses. Overtraining, something that can be really hard to spot until it's too late. Carefully constructed training plans will help you avoid overtraining. And if you want to learn more about what overtraining is, then make sure to check out our video all about it. Coaching can help you make sense of more technical or science-based running metrics. Heart rate zones, threshold pace, interval training can all be a lot to get your head around and a coach can take you through it and give you all the tools you need to smash out your training. Of course, we're here to help too. So if you want to know more about heart rate zones, running paces or running sessions, then check out our videos. Next up, accountability. You have something to follow and report back on and you can discuss your training with your coach. If you're using a coaching app like Pace, then you can record all of your sessions in it and monitor your improvement, meaning you're more likely to stick to it and stay motivated. And then finally, coaching helps you strike the right balance between hard and easy. Every runner is different and often training plans for races only come up in three categories, beginner, improver and advance. But what if you're somewhere in between? Coaching can help to tailor something specific for you and help you improve without overdoing it. There are lots of training approaches out there with different coaches, styles and philosophies better suited to different people. The most important thing is to find one that you believe in, where you understand the philosophy and the reasoning and that you buy into it. In fact, the Running Channel's own Andy Badley has a top tip, which is to choose a philosophy that works for you and then stick with it for a while. 
The grass might always seem greener on the other side, but just because a friend might be enjoying a fun plan or workout, it might not work for you and might not take into account what you've done in the last few days, weeks or months, which are all working to one goal. So take your time choosing a philosophy that you believe in and then stick with it for a while to see if it truly works. We asked some high profile coaches about their different approaches to coaching. The programs that I wrote are towards people looking for goals. They, they mostly have like qualification goals or they want a personal record or a personal best. But I don't want people to be intimidated because it's all based on where you are. Um, so yeah, it's gonna ask, I'm gonna ask you to train hard and to work hard, but you don't have to do, you're not gonna ask you to run some pace that you're not capable of running. Everything is built around what you want. I encourage everyone to give themselves a shot. Like you never know what you can accomplish until you try. I think Wayne Gretzky has a quote that's like, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So I would say like, let's go for it together. You know, like I wanna see you succeed. And I hope that when you, get into my plans, you'll see, like, I'm there for you. I want you to succeed. I get as much out of coaching a back of the pack runner as I do an elite. Uh, but passion is the thing. I, I, that's the material I need to, to work with. It just has to be someone for whom running is really important or, or tri triathlon. Not in the sense that they put it before family or career, but this, that, that they're invested in it. Um, and you know, I, I ask my athletes to do like some of the little things that pros do. They don't take a lot of time, but like you know, they kind of symbolize that personal uh, investment in, in, in the journey. I often say that athletes are not exercising robots; like they're human beings who pursue a sport. And um, I think you will be a better athlete, and you'll also have a richer journey as an athlete if you invest your whole humanity uh, in the sport. Uh, there's a quote I like from the, the novel, The Power of One, the mind is the athlete. Um, and it's true, you've only got one mind, you're the same person. So be all of you uh, as an athlete. And uh, for, for me, that's the only way to go. I tend to cater to, to people who are newer to running. Um, you know, if you're, you know, chasing your marathon PR, sub, you know, sub three hour marathon, I'm probably not your favorite coach. Um, but like for the folks who are just getting into running, they want to get faster, they want to get fitter. My approach to coaching is to make it as simple and as easy as possible. And so, you know, early on it's like, all right, let's just find your breath, let your shoulders fall down, just very simple and just keep moving. You can run and walk, get into it. Uh, and then as they become stronger at that stuff, then we start introduce paces. And so for me, it's like, all right, get around, get outside your house, run around the block a couple of times, just feel it. I think I naturally, as a philosophy, had a positive outlook. I feel like athletes typically respond to positive reinforcement, so I've always tried to be, we can do this, you can do it, kind of more of the positive type coach, as opposed to the like military kind of football mentality. You're gonna be more motivated and you have a higher likelihood of achieving your goals. That's been the process, whether you're a new runner just getting started, whether you're an age grouper and maybe you've set a crazy goal of qualifying for the Boston Marathon, or you're an elite runner and you're, I wanna win a race or qualify for the Olympic Marathon or, or go to the Olympics or whatever. That's the process that we use and it's been successful across all of those uh, different types of runners because I think the foundation is there. And that foundation from all of those mentors and my experiences has set it up to be so successful. Most of the athletes I work with are either newer runners or runners who sort of had that history of getting injured. And they're really looking for how do I build smart? How do I stop getting injured? And not just do this for a race, but do this for a really long time. One of the things that I do talk with them about is sort of finding a mantra, and one that a lot of them have adopted from me is forward is a pace. And just that idea that if you're showing up and doing the work, I don't care what your watch says, you're gonna improve, you're gonna get better, but don't let the watch determine whether you had a good or a bad run. It's amazing to see how different coaches think and that there's no definitive right or wrong. There are many more approaches out there, so do your research and look around for a coach that's right for you. 
Training periodization can often happen by accident. You train hard for a race, do the race, and then give yourself a bit of a break before choosing your next goal to work towards. And this might work for you, but not factoring in peaks and troughs in your training could mean you overtrain if you have too many races too close together, putting you at risk of injury. Coaching provides proper expert periodization, which can be an absolute minefield. You can work alongside a coach to choose when to have an easy day or week and how to build up appropriately for a goal over a set period of time. This will allow you to set longer term goals and track your progress over the months and years as opposed to just focusing on short-term goals. Periodization can also allow you to maximize your training across the year. You can take a step back and look at your goals and then decide if you have time for any more. For example, if your A goal is a new marathon PB at the end of the year, you can work with your coach to see if periodization would allow for a 5K time trial or maybe a 10K race midway through training, which could help you keep motivated. And the key to coaching success, mindset. We've talked a lot about motivation throughout this video and mindset is the key to getting you motivated. It doesn't mean you're going to be springing out of the door every day excited to train, but believing that you can hit the target that you're aiming for is a big thing to work on with a coach and could be your key to success. Having a coach can give you confidence that you can hit your goals because they'll have a proven track record and won't set you up for failure. They'll also help boost your confidence in training. So if you struggle with saying, I can't hit that time, or there's no way I can achieve that, then coaching could be a great next step to help with your running. You met some of the amazing coaches from the new Pace app from Training Peaks earlier in this video. So if you'd like to find out more, then head over to stayonpace.com. The link's in the description. Have you ever worked with a coach or are you considering it now? Do let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you next time here on The Running Channel.